If we just came up the bionis shin, then this must be its kneecap, right? Yep. Which means Colony 6 is up ahead. Looks like we can climb up there. Great. I love a good climb. Well, you're the man, he likes to climb. Hello, everybody. It's Super Hyper Hedgy, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. I assume if we jump off this, we'll die, because it's a pit. But, um, it looks like uh, we're going to make our way up the Bionis' knee, so let's see if we can do this one. Nope, we can't. But, um, so we're just going to see how this place pans out for us. Don't get careless, guys. But I'm going to take out this. Oh, wow. Who else wants some? I got that guy killed in an instant. Wow. Um, have you fought anything like that before? I don't know, but I'm gonna get it. I got an achievement, so let's check it. It was... Some help you are? Won a battle without actually doing anything. Oh, cause Shulk hit him. That's funny. Yeah, I'm gonna try out Ryan for a little bit, cause I feel like we'll play as Shulk throughout the game mainly, because he's got the Monado, so that makes him pretty important, so I'm just gonna try out Ryan some more while we have a go at it. It's weird how this place doesn't have any music. It's kind of strange, almost. Or... Peaceful in a way, I guess. Oh, we got an achievement! It's called Rhyme Time, baby! Awesome. I want to see what that did- that does. I want to see what that was. Because I appreciate such a phrase. Rhyme Time, baby. Use Ryan Arts a hundred times. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I'm a sucker for certain memes. So, and that is one of them. Cool. I can feel the strength. Oh, we leveled up by getting to a new area. And Ryan learned a new art. So I will check it out sometime later. I feel... Oh, people! People with quests. People with the shop. I'm gonna sell stuff, because I've got a lot of stuff I want to sell. Alright, so we sold stuff. I'm gonna ask this guy. Wow, it's reference to bump into anyone else in this area. You look like you can handle yourself. Do you think you could do this? Oh, I read too fast. They're always attacking us for no reason. I hate them. So, kill a Lake Arden. Sweet, I'll do that. Thanks, I appreciate it. Lake Arden live in Gower Plain. <gasps> We're going to Gower Plain! The stage is Smash Bros! Oh, he's got more stuff. Let's see what he wants to, uh, us to kill. He wants us to kill Maker Bunnets. So, Maker Bunnets, yeah. And he's gonna tell us something else. Yep, there it is. And he wants us to kill a Field Pono? Field Pono. Field Ponios! Ponios, yeah. Is that it? Because usually they tell three or four. No, the four. Um, so, this last one, he wants us to get rid of some leg wolf. The uh, it sounds like a wolf. A wolf. Wolf. Leg wolf. Alright, there we go. Thanks, man. Is that it? Okay, that's it. Yep, four. I know statistics. Let's make it more day. Let's make it, uh... 10 o'clock when we head into Gower Plain, because I want to see Gower Plain when it's nice and sunny. Yay! What? You guys hear that? That's wondrous music. <laughs> Yay! Bionis leg. Aw, oh, this, this place sounds happy. Aw. Oh, Shulk, look over there. Smoke? Maybe someone's got a fire going. Hope they're cooking up something good. It's hardly a good spot for a barbecue. Come on, let's take a look. Yeah! Get our plane. Ether types will attack in response to ether use. So these will attack if an art indicated with the horizontal line is used. Do we have an art like that? Huh. Oh, wow. Wow, big enemies right here. 
Oh, Leg Ardens! Those are what we're supposed to fight right now, right? Yeah. First I want to check, see if we have any arts that have that. Nope, it appears we don't, but we learned a new art that's like, Berserker! Oh, so it prioritizes attack. I'll use that sometime later. For now, I'm gonna fight some Leg Ardens. Let's see how fun these guys are. Let's do it. This will be a breeze. Yeah. Don't get careless, guys. Uh, don't hit Shulk. That'd be bad. Face me, because I am tougher. And now you're face down on the floor. How does it feel? Oh, wow. Oh, uh, he's down. I'm dead. <laughs> wow, that was weird. Um, they, <laughs> their all rights uh, were in sync. But we finished the quest, so everything is grand! Yay! Oh man, some Maker Bunnets! Supposed to fight some of these guys, so let's do it! Yay! You said it, Ryan. It'll be a breeze, because I use a. Um, use the breezy like attack. So, that's what I think. Sword Drive is pretty helpful. That's a new attack I learned. So, I think it's uh, pretty helpful. I only want to use Topple when uh, they uh, the, the enemies get braked. Get braked. Like, that's a word. Well, apparently it is now, because the English language uses a lot of slang a lot of the time. Now, does that mean I can barely walk on that edge for a period of time? I think that's what that means. But it looks like I will not have an easy time doing it. Just looking at the map, it looks like there's not a whole lot I can actually stand on. Oh my, wow! Ho oh, ho! That's a level 81, holy crap. Um, I may not be an expert here, but I can say right now, if we fight that thing, we'll be D-E-D -E -D dead. Wow, that uh, guy is pretty tough. I think that's one of the... And wow, he's right where those horses are! Or the things I want to go kill. For a quest. And I can't worry about him. Okay, yeah. There we go, let's let's go fight you. It's crushing time! Everyone! Do your Oof. A field Ponyo looks like a horse and a drag uh not a dragon, a dinosaur. That's what it looks like to me. But that other guy in the background looks way more terrifying. I'll say that. We gotta take care of five of these things, oh gosh. That'll be fun. Ow! That guy sent me flying. Oh, but... freaking Shulk. Just like... Gone down. To no bits. Oh! Collect items for future quests. When you pick up a collectible or a treasure chest item, you may have a vision. You should try to keep any items you will need for a future quest. Items necessary for the future are marked with the... Oh, so like if you don't want to sell something. That's the third moth crawler. Me and Ryan always used to play with these when, I, when we were little. Oh, wow. A moth crawler. Oh, that starts the quest, so let's not get too close. But that's really cool. Uh, now it tells you when like quests are usable for something, like uh, when something will be helpful for a quest of some sort. You know what? Let's go activate this thing. Let's see what's all the hubbub is about. Someone's left a buggy out here. That's strange. Who would just abandon a buggy in this place? And it's pretty new. Is it brand new? Not brand new, but it's in very good condition. You wouldn't just abandon it. So, what did happen to the driver?
There's a boy. He's being attacked by monsters. You saw it happening? Where? I don't know. But it was near some water. Near water? But what made you have a vision all of a sudden? Maybe it was triggered by touching the buggy. Well, we'd better find him. Let's search everywhere around here where there's water. Okay. Oh, cool. Looks like we've got to search for water everywhere. So let's do it to it. Yeah, we got all the field ponios down. So that part of the quest is done. Ah! Ah! Oh, that scared me because <laughs> it changed from night to day. I just got a little <laughs> weird there. So that's me being. Well, anyway, we found it. One of our quest objects, and it's killed. It just appeared right in front of us. It's like I'm gonna fight you, and I was staring at that big guy. So I was hoping he wasn't gonna hit me. Yeah, we completed that quest because we killed all the wolves. All the leg wolves. Oh, wow! Why are there such tough enemies here? Jeez! Wow. They're like... Holy crap. They put some strong enemies just randomly here. I f have a feeling we're gonna be here multiple times. It looks like this is where the vision was had. <laughs> I mean, where we saw it. Shulk, over there! Ah, ah. You all right, kid? Who are you? That can wait. Go! Get out of here! Leave these guys to us! Oh, okay. Let's do this! Ready when you are. All right, let's fight these things. Show them what we're made of. All right. Oh, I can topple it. I'm gonna topple it. I'm gonna topple it. This is a boss fight. Yeah. Okay. Forgot that. Um. So basically, the idea of this shouldn't be too bad since we're oh we're level 19. So. That's, uh, pretty nice, you know, for this, uh, time. And we already took care of one, so... No, hit fight me, because that way Shulk can black slash your butt. Because that is of the priority right now. So, yeah. Let's see. Fight me! Oh, wait, I wanted to topple it, topple it, topple it! No, 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 no. Topple, topple, topple. To oh, I missed my chance. But it's dead, anyways. Okay, it should work now. Great. You saved my skin. My buggy short circuited. And then there were those monsters, and. Well, thanks. I fixed the circuit, but it's out of ether. Change the cylinder and it will be as good as new. I think it's time for the introductions. I'm Ryan. He's Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Oh, hi. I'm Juju. Um, where are you two heading? If you've got time, you should come back to our camp. Your camp? Yeah. It's not far. How about it? Let's take him up on the offer. I'm surprised there's a Homs camp here. But they might have some information. I suppose. Juju, can you tell us how to get there? Sure. If you go back to the oasis, you should see a tall stone post. Head there first. Then what? There's a small path in the woods next to the stone post. Just follow it down to our camp. Got it. Now, let's make a move. All right, we have Kid with us. <laughs> I forget his name already. But, um, so we just gotta, um, head to that camp. But I'm gonna do something first before that if we can find, uh, one more thing to fight to finish one of our quests. Because we are really close to finishing one of our quests. We just need to do one small thing.
Oh, that's a cool enemy. It's like a bird with wings. But different wings because it's on its back and its arms are holding a spear. It's cool looking. Alright, let's just fight this guy just to have some fun. Because that's what I want to have, some fun. I wouldn't mind some fun now and then. That's what I think. There we go. Uh, so it's like a snut. It's like one of those bird things we just saw earlier. But this time, uh, it's a harder version. So, yeah, it's a nice little mini boss battle. Always fun to engage on in the quest. Alright. I heard you well, Ryan, so let's do it. Yep. Just need to get one more big hit on this guy. He's almost down. So, yeah. I would like it if... Oh, wrong move. I want this one. There we go. And he's down. <laughs> I was saying I would like it if I could get a backslash on him. Which I just did. So, we're all good to go. Oh. The armor... No, torn paper. That must be another questy thing. I think it's cool that it's raining right now, just to point out. Because it just kind of randomly happens. Like, it was sunny, and now it's raining. It's a nice little touch. Oh! I missed this landmark. That's a pretty helpful landmark, actually. Be helpful to warp there when I need to. And we took care of those guys, so we were all done with all the uh, uh, monster kill side quests, so that'll be it for this episode. Join me in the next episode where we continue on on the Gower Plain to our next destination, which is the camp. So I'll see you guys then where we uh, uh, find our friend Max, uh, Mach, uh, I forget his name, at the camp. So I'll see you then. Bye, guys.